And then there was one. It is finally time to play the new VR mode. No, I don't even know how you go about recording that, and I don't have Toy-Con VR co goggles anyway. So let's just go into classic mode, because we have one final Fire Emblem character to get through. And that is the guy who has finally got his chance. What he said. Anyway, for Chrome, I'm going to be using this outfit, because I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm pretty sure Krom is going to involve a lot of team battles, with either a Robin or a Lucina assisting you, most likely. So, it's broken pair-up time. Well, not as broken in this game as it is in Awakening. Okay, I had an earlier take of this. It didn't go so well. I'm going to try once more just to see if I can do better. So, first uh, first up is let's see if Krom can redeem himself after his pathetic showing against uh, against his daughter in her classic mode. You know, I just realised in the other attempt of classic mode that I did with Krom, I never even used counter, not even once. I should probably change that here. Aha, you're vulnerable! There we go! Wow, but <laughs> nice ceiling spike there. It's always funny when you do that to characters in Smash. So from here on, the gimmick is Krom fights duos that most of them aren't even from Smash Brothers. And uh, he is in pair-up. Unfortunately, not as broken as Awakening's pair-up. So, let's go. It's time for, well, I suppose the fan fiction duo. Anyway, uh, one of my failed attempts at this, I actually... Uh oh okay, gotta make sure I get that first, because it's very easy to die in classic mode to AIs hitting you with warp stars. I know that from experience. But uh, yeah, one of my failed attempts at this, I actually failed due to me thinking Lucina was an enemy and aiming my final smash at her and launching myself off the stage. That was kind of dumb. I don't know how much the AI affects the Ram or the Evil Mushroom, as I like to call it. Uh, wow, that, that was a pathetic barrel. But that was a not pathetic power block. Also, nice close-up on the Pokeball there. <laughs> Actually, nice pose by, by Krom and Lucina there. Okay, round three. This, I believe, is... Yes, it's Ness and Lucas at Ornette, and we have a fellow Magic user here. Well, you know, Psychic Powers, Magic, pretty much the same thing. Not exactly in, in certain D&D &D, uh, settings, though, where they have, like, Psionics and Magic as totally different things. Um, but I don't really know much about that, since nobody's ever played one of those classes in Critical Role. I don't even think they're in 5th edition anyway, that, this is a very weird tangent. Anyway, Krom mostly plays like Roy, with the exception of his up B. Uh, I had a feeling you wouldn't die to that, actually. I am taking way too much damage here. Yeah, I had a feeling that would kill you, though. Nice Nosferatu fail there, ally Robin. Oh, nope, I am not getting run over by a car. That is like the exact opposite of how a Fire Emblem character should die. Something that I realised in the other attempt is that um, pretty much all the Fire Emblem Lords who canonically die, like Sigurd and Krom in the bad future, get killed by magic. It's kind of interesting. Don't think that was that great of an intensity. Yeah, no, not, not amazing. Oh well, as Hades would say, at least I'm not dead. Okay, this one went really badly in my first attempt because they summoned Rathalos. Let's hope that doesn't happen this time. Let's make sure that the, the apes do not summon not Grima. Uh-oh, bomb, uh... Yeah, I had a feeling that'd get DK. And now Diddy. We've got a father and daughter fighting here, but, um... What relationship do the, Co uh, do the Kongs have to each other? I'm pretty sure, canonically, DK and Diddy are cousins, I think? Oh no, I lost track for a second of which one I was. I thought I was Lucina, thankfully. Uh-oh! Wow, I, w I came very close to getting claptrapped there. Yeah, Diddy's very good at saving himself from the river. Sometimes I like I assume that they that they're dead if they run it, if they go into the water, but often that's not the case. 
Knuckle Joe. Well, that's a step down from Rathalos, and he's gone. Okay. <laughs> he's like, he's like calling out to Lucina somehow. But okay, I'm almost up to the intensity that I ended with on the failed run. But this stage, something that I want to say about this stage is that it's not really, I find it's not used that often in World of Light. And it's a shame because it's a kind of a cool stage. I know it's very weird and unconventional, like it has a lot of opportunities for ceiling KOs, which, you know, is the kind of thing competitive players don't really like, but... But, and also like side KOs, but... It's a cool looking stage, it has some great Mario Kart music on it. So I'm, it's kind of a shame that it's not used that often. Wow, Robin is getting destroyed, I should probably help him. Did someone just summon some bees? I think someone did kind of summon bees. Uh oh, Toad. Oh, nice air dodge there, Daisy. Okay, that rocket belt could really help me. Oh no, I thought I was them for a second. Yeah, I have this tendency to get very confused in multi- Oh, okay, the one uh, over on the, uh, yeah, this one's real, the other one's fake. As Robin will now demonstrate for me. Okay, I uh, kind of let Robin carry me there a little bit, but again, at least I'm not dead. And next up would be Simon and Richter. Okay, now this one can get very confusing for me because I've got two blue head swords, sword users with red team indicators and uh, against two kind of similar looking opponents on a pretty dark stage with a bluish tint to it. And I missed them. Oh, I thought for a second that Simon had gone down, but no, he managed to whip himself back up. Smoke ball. Oh great, now things are even harder to see. <laughs> he just kicked me. I was trying to go for my uh, my neutral B there. As you could probably Oh no! Bad! Okay, well, at least that's gone. And I managed to dodge uh, dodge roll my way out of that quickly. Yeah, I almost uh, got brutally destroyed there because of that scythe. I wasn't at hundred percent damage anyway, but uh, better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so already I'm doing better than I was on my uh, original run, which is good. So, uh, it's now Neo Race to the Finish. Like, uh, does this mode, like, not mode, does this minigame have an official name at all? I'm not really sure, but anyway. Um, ever since I did my previous batch of recordings uh, for this, someone in the comments has told me uh, a new method to get the last few sun orbs here. So, I'm going to try that and see if it works. Uh, I've actually succeeded at that off off screen because I've done I've ma been making a little bit more progress in the classic modes off screen. Obviously, I'm not going to record all of them, but I've done some of the other. Um, I can, I'm doing them in order. I think I'm currently onto the melee characters. Yes, okay, good. Die wall. Okay, we're, we're coming up to it. So right here, you actually want to let the black hole suck in the blocks above you, and then run. There we go. That's how you get those. And we're out. Complete. And I think that's one of the highest scores I've ever got in that game. But it might be short-lived because double hands on this high of an intensity. I do have an ally helping me, but that just means more opportunities for me to get distracted by um, thinking I'm the wrong person. Let's go. And, and I guess I suppose, you know, with Chrom's classic mode theme being pair-ups, it does kind of make sense to fight the hands at the end, so I'll give him that. I was kind of hoping for Rathalos, but still. So yeah, something that I should mention about the hands is that in doing the other classic... Oh, I thought it was Robin again. Oop, yeah, gotta be careful of that. Uh, in doing the other classic modes off-camera, something that I've realised is... The Ice Climbers' uh, air attacks shred the hands. Like, they absolutely shred them. It was so fun fighting the double hands of the Ice Climbers. Like, it was just generally really, really cathartic because their air attacks, like I said, are so good against them. Okay. Oh, okay, no, I was not the one off the stage. Okay, so I was actually in a better position than the one I thought it was in. 
Yeah, I would say, wow, I'm doing much better at the hands. I'm not letting Robin kill steal from me this... She did anyway, didn't she? Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, well. That was... Okay, no continue hands on that high of an intensity? I'd say that was pretty good overall. Well, that was 9.9! Yeah, I guess not continuing against the hands is really... You know what? Considering my score on the minigame, on the running, the black hole minigame, that might be the best score I've... Okay, if I beat my uh, my high score in classic mode overall, I don't know if the credits counts towards that, but yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, Chrom, obviously, we're hearing the remix of uh, Id Purpose, which at least is better than him just getting the... Because I think Lucina and Robin just got the original id purpose, so at least giving him the remix is kind of nice. And, you know, a new remix uh, original to this game. Chrom is a new Fire Emblem character. Not exactly original to this game, because he's really just Roy with a, a few slight differences. But, but yeah. Okay, that was, that, was, that was pretty good. That was actually good. I mean, a few battles I relied on my partner to carry me, but it's definitely better than my first attempt at this, where I just got completely confused. Like, like basically what happened in Corrin's classic mode happened in my first attempt here. I just had no idea what was going on half the time, and just lost track of wh whether I was, you know, myself or my ally, and things just went kind of ridiculous. Kirk Thornton is in this game. Oh, I think he's Shadow, yeah. Uh, but anyway... So yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing the end here, just to see if I did beat my current high score, which at the moment was with Inkling. I guess while I'm here, I can say that uh, as of recording this, uh, Nintendo's E3 hasn't happened yet, but we know, we know we're getting a new DLC fighter announced. Well, we're probably going to get a DLC fighter announced, so... Uh, yeah, by now, like by the time this is uploaded, you'll probably know who that is, but I don't, so let me make a few guesses. Considering Chugga's tendency to predict announcements, I'm wondering if it's going to be Chrono, but given how Square Enix treated Cloud, it's probably not likely. So, a lot of people really want Banjo and Kazooie. My only real pipe dream is Crash Bandicoot. Like, if we get Crash Bandicoot or Spyro, but Crash is more likely because Crash Bandicoot is really popular in Japan, whereas Spyro utterly bombed in Japan. So Crash Bandicoot is probably more, the more likely of the two, but he's really the only wish I have for DLC characters. But really, as long as they're fun to play, I don't really care who it is. Unless, and this is a thing, right before I recorded this, I was thinking, what if it's Edelgard? And if it is Edelgard, well, I know the Lord of Salt is going to rise again. So I'm a little bit worried about that. I mean, on the plus side, it will mean that you'd be able to do full eight-player Fire Emblem matches with everyone using a different character. Huh, I scored less on the credits than I did in my um, other other one. But yes, Krom's um, portrait here is everyone throwing him a surprise party for him finally getting into Smash. Now the moment of the truth, did I beat my high score, which is like 1,700,000-ish? Well, you're new. I think you're new too. Yes, you are. I may have just barely beaten it. Let's find out. Yes, that is my highest score for classic mode. Okay. So, wow, a classic mode high score on camera. Nice. My previous one was with Inkling, and that was, yeah, I beat it by almost exactly 40,000. So, yeah, that was that was pretty good. Uh, so, that's the last Fire Emblem Classic Mode... Well, that's the last Classic Mode I plan on recording other than DLC. And really, there's only one more thing I have left to record in Smash Brothers that is not uh, DLC Classic Modes. So, I guess now I can just give some thoughts on Classic Mode in general. I like this one a lot better than the Classic Mode of uh, Smash 4, but I will say, Double Hands is very overused as a final boss. So I kind of wish that- and this game had a lot of cool bosses, so... Yeah, kind of a shame they just keep using Double Hands. Again, for Chrome it made sense because of the whole pair-up theme. But, anyway... What's up next? Well... It's something that a lot of you have guessed, and that is a Fire Emblem Amiibo Battle Royale.
So join me next time for that, and then that'll be everything for Smash Brothers that I plan on covering, other than, as of recording, yet to be announced DLC. So, that's all for now, and I will see you for the Amiibo Tournaments.